And it's up, guys. It's your boy, Ghostly, coming at you with a serious commentary. I don't normally do these, I normally do, like, the only funny voices. <laughs> but today we're going to be doing a little bit more serious tone. We're going to talk a little bit about the YouTube drama situation, in my opinion, at this present time. So the current drama I'm talking about is the whole War Instinct versus um, I Fly Eleni, I think it's called, or Eleni, or Trevor McGee, I don't know. But you know what it is, isn't it? It's, I'll put it up in the title anyway. And I wanted to tell you my opinion, roughly what's happening and things like that. So I'm going to first start off what's recently been happening. It's I, Raw Instinct, has been copying videos from certain people for a very long time. He shouldn't have been doing this. He's got a quarter of a million subs last time I checked. He's lost about 18,000 over the last day or so. But he had a quarter of a million subs and he's gained this from pretty much copying other people's content and rebranding it and putting it as his own. So, I say rebranding it, he uses exactly the same tips. There's been videos where he's used the same guns as certain other people. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, where he's got these videos from, he's been like Team Martin, he's stolen um, pretty much tips and tricks from him. He's stolen jump shots, jump shots, jump spots from him. He's added no original work into it, it's just pretty much other people's rehashed thing. And I just think it's ridiculous, in my opinion, like, if you're going to work on a YouTube channel and you want to get somewhere, you do it the proper way and you put hard work and hard effort in, like, I'm about to hit 300 video, next video is the 300th video, and I've been doing this for two years, so I've been working my ass off for the last two years, making videos for you guys, and this guy just comes along out of the blue, starts copying other people's, rehashing them, putting the same tags using exactly the same tags as T Martin and using his name in the tags and also copying the thumbnail pretty much to the exact thumbnail that T Martin used. Um, what he's done is he's done the exact same say what's the what's your word on your shame? Like exact same background, exact same text, but there'll be like a slight difference in it. It won't be a hundred percent the same. And it's just I just how this guy has gotten away with this for so long is what I don't understand. And why has he got so many subs? Uh, that's another thing I don't understand. So, that's the whole thing. This guy pretty much copies other people's content. Um, and then brands it as his own, pretty much. And also his intro. For fuck's sake, why have you just taken someone else's intro and used it as your own? Make up your own, be original, and get it shit in done. Like, I've got my own personal... i got multiple intros. I just don't use one. I use a few. But he took um, Sam or x depending on what you want to call him, x I'm going to call him. He took his intro and pretty much just put his names where Sam puts his. It's like, why would you do it? Why are you so unoriginal that you've got to steal other people's work, copy their exact thumbnail and tags, and use other people's intros? It's it's just what an asshole. And other people are working their ass off to get where they think and not and struggling. Um, so, yeah. I've got a little bit more to talk about this, like, there's there's been more come up yesterday. Uh, DJ Keenstar, some of you guys might know him, in my opinion, he is a complete and utter asshole with a capital A. So that's my opinion, though. Some of you guys may like him, if you like him, then I'm, I'm sorry, I've offended you or something, but I don't like him. He, he made a deal behind doors with Raw Instinct to get him into a Skype chat, saying he'll defend him. If he'll put up a video sending his subscribers over to his new project, which is like bad, the Bad Kid Show or the Faggot Show, I don't know, something along those lines. Um, and pretty much what happened is DJ Keemstar went in an entire episode, like a podcast, but it's like a pre-recorded podcast. Did the entire episode with him defending him, backing up Raw Instinct, and then Raw Instinct went back on his back. The one, the one particular person that was actually willing to defend Raw Instinct, um, he, he broke the deal pretty much, and now DJ's after him. So, to be honest, DJ Keemstar, you're an asshole if you're watching this, because like you've got to make deals behind closed doors with someone like that who's pathetic, and just because you want a couple of extra subs, then, yeah, whatever, man. Not... You can. I'm never gonna ever in the future. If I ever do grow my channel, I'm never gonna ever work with you because you're just that type of person who use and abuse. And people who use others just for their sub count and things like that. It's just. 
don't do it, man. Just don't do it. That's my opinion. So this has been my opinion on All Instinct. My opinion, he's an asshole with a capital E. He gets, he gets a thumbs up and a five star rating for being the world's biggest asshole. For stealing other people's work, he should get his channel closed. But no, it's not probably not going to happen because he's rehashed it as his own. But he's still, he's still on the lines of copyright. But I don't think anything is going to happen. He's just going to lose a bunch of subscribers. So remember, if you've enjoyed this video, to like, favorite, and subscribe. It's been your boy Ghostly. Have a nice day.